I'd like to do is show you a, a property of logarithms. And um, this one's going to be dealing with expanding uh, or condensing property logarithms. Um, and what I want to do is I want to show you, you know, how this really works. So what uh, this property states, uh, with, and when given a logarithm of base A, and you have inside your logarithms, you're dividing two values, U and V. What you can do is you can separate those two values into log base A of U minus log base A of V. So let's see if this actually works in real life. Um, really, if I was going to say log base 2 of A divided by, or 8 divided by 4, really 8 divided by 4 is 2, right? So we know 2 raised to what power gives you 2? Well, we know the answer is going to be 1. Well, let's go and see what we're going to get. So if I did log base 2 of 8 minus log base 2 of 4. Remember, the logarithm, all it is is an exponent. It's saying 2 raised to what number equals 8? That's 3 minus 2 raised to what number gives you 4? That number is 2. 3 minus 2 equals 1. So therefore, that shows you we can separate it, and you're still going to have the same answer. So to separate this problem, I have my two terms. Remember, you have to make sure you keep the base the same. Log base 4 of 7 minus log base 4 of x. All right? Then for this problem, we have an x and we or I'm sorry, we have a monomial and a binomial. So I'm going to treat this, I'm going to, this is together a term on itself. So I'm going to do ln of x. Remember, ln has a base e um, minus ln of x minus 3. I'm going to put that in parentheses just to make sure I remember it's that whole term is what I'm evaluating for my logarithm. Um, and that's how you do uh, your logarithmic property with division and subtraction.